Fearless Female Fridays with Ayanda MVP on 947. Every guest will leave you feeling inspired, confident, and ready to take on the world. Good afternoon, Taz. How are you doing? Fun and you, Ayanda. Hello, 947. Yes, thank you so much for joining us. Could you please tell Joburg um, a brief overview of your career? I started out like any Greek girl that had to go to varsity. My mm. parents expected me to marry, none of that. <laughs> so what happened was, you know, we wanted to be an auditor or an accountant. And then I realized very far down that I didn't want to be an auditor and accountant. I wanted mm. to be where the action was. So I did my articles, went into retail. I, funny enough, landed up in jewelry retail for quite a while, actually. And that was exciting, you know, stores, jewelry, selling nice stuff all around you all the time, but hard work because it's retail. At 30, I decided, no, nope, I'm taking a break. And then I got this opportunity to go into gaming and report on, on a company that was about to list in the UK. Yeah, so I worked on that project and that's where I met my husband and uh-huh. I came back to South Africa. Uh-huh. And then we made this baby, lots of stuff. Gaming bit me, it's got a bat, yeah, otherwise, you know, you won't want to come into work every day. It's all about the enticement. How did it entice you as a career and where you decided, well, maybe with your husband to say, this could actually be a thing. My husband comes up with the ideas and I'm the, I'm the doer. So breaking through and gaining trust from gaming boards and gaining trust from competitors and gaining trust from everywhere around was hard work. It was, mm. it was because, you know, ladies are not meant to be where they're not meant to be. And this was one of the interest industries that was very male dominated from mm. the start. Mm. So I'm proud to say there's a lot of ladies coming through. You actually once stated in a magazine that the gaming industry is very male dominated. And you said that 70% of your colleagues are women. My, my development team is headed up by a male, but the rest of the teams are held up by women. And it's what's happening with the competitors, what's happening on TV, what's happening here, what's happening there, what's happening with our players, you know? Mm-hmm. And also we try to stay current and see what's mm-hmm. going on around us. Also, to find people in this industry is very hard. So a lot of them we built up together. You know, we, we, um, it's, we've trained through because these positions have just become available as and when they are needed. And then we, t- we actually hire on personality. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. There's one rule here. It's 80% passion and 20% work. Absolutely. Uh, and it's pure, pure personality driven. When we argue a point, it's everyone gets involved and mm. it's very open to policy here. Yeah. Everyone gets creative. Everyone sees a campaign from A to Z. Mm. Um, so it's not stifled from a corporate environment, but it can't be because this environment is always going. How often do you actually take time to sleep or take time for yourself? My husband and I disappear for like every three months for a week. Oh, or so. Yes. <laughs> and then we've got our family holidays and stuff but it doesn't mean we just switch off i mean during the night we're checking things or we're mm-hmm. seeing things and we do the emails and everything some of our incentive schemes it's come up that must be reliant on people's health and they mm-hmm. must go exercise and they mm-hmm. must go because what happens is you get into the stuck routine mm-hmm. and then everyone around you and also you know with covid and everything it's been difficult and um, people have gotten into a routine So now we're trying to push everyone to say, five o'clock, let's go play tennis, paddle. I don't care what we play. Hit the ball into each other if you have to. How did you survive the challenges that you were facing through the years or through growing what you guys have grown to this, to the stage and where it is? A lot of shouting. I'm very passionate. (laughs) (laughs) I'm great. That is good. The words just come out of your mouth and (laughs) you're very passionate about it. And then, you know, I'll get put in my corner again by my husband and it's like oh. diplomacy diplom- 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 can you know <laughs> it's been hard it's not easy mm. it's not easy but you've got this theory that we don't give up if, if at night for example we have an influx of players and our call center can't handle we all become agents That's on new year's eve i was sitting doing banking you know um uh, because there was an influx of players i don't know players believe that they'll win on new year's eve so let them, <laughs> everyone you know? thinks they're lucky then yeah. Yeah, and our, uh, you know, for ex- our call center couldn't handle the volumes. So we all jumped on, you know, from marketing manager to legal to me to Mike was sitting next to me on banking <laughs> hours. And that's what we do. We just, we just get involved. Mm. Development is on standby. And also we allow, uh, um, 
like for example i will i won't stifle someone so in mm. other words go run with it yes. just come tell me if we did something wrong <laughs> we can deal with it <laughs> but um run you know i i promote the running because mm. um as i said we all have our mistakes and we all mm. have our pluses and minuses it's quite funny when we you know when we have a drink and we're all talking and we're like remember your mistake <laughs> now taz in your eyes what is being fearless surviving and being fair mm. so you know you got to know when to hold them you got to know when to fold them yes you know? <laughs> got to know when to apologize and say thank you and please <laughs> yes absolutely you know um I, that took me a hard knock in to learn that lesson mm. because you know you're so gun ho you forget a lot of things along the way now if yeah. 10 year old tasulo was listening what would you mm. tell her learn how to be more diplomatic <laughs> still <laughs> so, yeah 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 and usa a little bit you know yes, like usa yeah, usa <laughs> yeah would you need a degree to get into working in gambling ironically there's no specific degree oh okay so uh, gambling but it's like a marketing degree for marketing mm. it's like a analytics degree it's like a development degree but then obviously it's very um industry specific mm. So when you get into this environment it's very different. It's not like a banking environment or you know like everything is everything is changing and there's changing yeah. parts all the time. Um I mean all our marketing is in house. Sure. Uh we can turn a advert around a TV advert within 24 hours, a radio mm-hmm. advert. It becomes self sufficient where we don't have to rely on anyone. to to wait for anyone to do what we have to do. I think we're doing the summer of love as well with you. Absolutely. Absolutely. It reminds me of a lot of the times when we were holding instruction sheets for Lotto Star, we're just <laughs> shaking because we're like we're dealing with so much money. <laughs> we need to be careful. And that's going to get bigger and better next month. Absolutely. Yo, we're excited. Oh, watch yeah. our phone lines are going to be better next month. Everything is going to start flooding. It's hectic. People really really do love this brand. and also our charity of choice i don't know yes. if you've heard it caught blanche oh. for um for kids hospitals and everything we are supporting kids uh, burn units and kids um critical units in hospitals and in areas that they don't have so that will be our charity of choice in our with 947 is there a quote that you use for inspiration on a daily or sometimes something to remind you to just be about your grits try everything once Yes, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. I hope you have a lovely weekend. 947 loves you and we cannot wait for the summer madness coming. Yep, November here we come. Woo! <laughs> Cheers, Tess. Thank you. 947 with a Yonder MVP.